Okie dokie, I believe we are all the way being recorded. Hello and welcome to my graveyard. I am your host of the evening, the Cemetery Man from Salem, Mass. Always taking him to kicking candy ass, live in the living color here with you, Punk Rodney's Graveyard. And today we've got something that I never thought I'd be doing, Fright Rags. Yes, that's right, Fright Rags, one of the best horror t-shirt companies out there. A little expensive for my bridges sometimes, but this was an exception that I had to make because they are giving the Fright Rags deluxe treatment to... My two favorite slasher movies of all time in Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. It's a tie. Some days I like 3 better. I, I lean towards 3, but um, I love them both equally, too. It's almost like, which kid do you like better, as Mateo would say. But this is something I never thought I'd be doing here because, of course, they did do their new shirt design, which I do have on. I'm, I'm rocking the new Angela Goes to Camp t-shirt, and I, I shared that on the community post. Uh, maybe at the end I could show you how, how it looks on me. Granted, I'm kind of confined in this little space. I'm trying to shoot somewhere different in the old household today, so forgive me if the lighting is not the greatest. Uh, I, I probably should have a ring light or something for this, but this is going to have to do for now. Um, so what we're going to do here today is we're going to unbox the trading card pack. I got this for $120. It's a sealed case, which I just took the, the cellophane off. So um, we're going to show you guys what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? We got, it's very cool. It's a Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 on the side. House of Fright, wax packs on the back. Very cool stuff. It shipped in just two short days. So I'm very excited here to take a look what's inside. I know there's a guaranteed autograph in here. There's a printing press. And then, of course, there's two entire base sets plus stickers. So I'm very excited to see what exactly is in the box. And I guess I won't keep you guys in any suspense any longer. But first, I always do like to show these off, which, you know, these cool little things that like the thing sticker. And this is a Stephen King's It sticker, the original, the only one worth the shit. Of course, you got a Return of the Living Dead fun fact card. You mean the movie lied? Love Tom Matthews, and they have these uh, fright film facts on the back here. The eye chart in the background of the office reads: Bird is a slave, driver, and a cheap son of a bitch. Well, I mean, yeah, we gotta love Bert because you, you owe me that favor, Bert. You owe me that great favor. My favor? Watch your ass out there. And then a little bit of ET, which is not a horror movie. I know Toby Hooper was once supposed to direct it, but I mean, it is what it is. Nothing here nor there. But uh, also some toxic waste hazardously sour candy here we got uh, of course black cherry and lemon which oh my god i don't know the lemon that that just sounds a little bit daunting to me i'm more of a black cherry guy myself but uh, like i said i won't keep you guys in any suspense any longer let's open this son of a gun up here and whoa check this out all right so a little bit of a glare on this i believe this is what is this exactly I think that's, that's, that's Pamela Springsteen and, and, and Uncle John, of course, who was named after John Hughes, played by uh, Walter Goodell in the movie. And I believe what this is is a printing press. It's, it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But it says, this is an actual printing plate used to manufacture Sleepaway Camp 2, card number 12, yellow. This plate is a one-of-a-kind collectible. So this one is definitely a little bit of valuable, but uh, it means more in my heart than it does in, uh, you know, I would never sell this. I never would. Somebody told me I should get two packs because these sell out quick. But I was like, you know what? I don't give a shit. Like, I, I love the movies so much that I, I would never think of selling anything like this. But huge, huge fan of these movies. And it's so cool to get this one-of-a-kind collectible. I'd be curious to see what some of the other ones are. But I'm so happy that Pamela Springsteen's on here because Pamela Springsteen's the whole fucking show. There will be no Pamela Springsteen autograph in here. Um, I don't know which pack's going to have the auto, so we might just have to find it out live in living color here, even though I'm recording this. So, I mean, it is what it is. Of course, you do see the Happy Camper song on the side. Oh, I'm a happy camper. I love the summer sun. It's just the greatest fucking slasher movies of all time. I just absolutely love it. But we can, uh, we can get one of the packs out here. Let's take a look. Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 trading cards. One sticker inside nine trading cards absolutely no regrets here on grande scraper so let's get going here take it nice and slow because i only have one hand i have to hold the camera with my other hand so i apologize if this is a little shaky if this is a little blair witch for you but it is what it is so let's go into here and i guess we'll open from the front you got the happy camper song on the front the entire thing. I love the trees and forests. I'm always having fun. Oh my! I'm I'm just a shameless mark. I can't help it. I can't fucking help it. I I, I have a disease of happy camperness, and I, it's just bad. It's just no good. But I love this fucking movies. And oh, cool. Okay, so on the back, if you notice this. 
This is the original Sleepaway Camp. No, I'm sorry. This was the, the second Sleepaway Camp 2 shirt that Fright Rags did. I have this shirt somewhere in my bedroom. I bought it when I was a little bit skinnier, when I was medium. So it doesn't fit me great anymore. It's a good bedtime shirt. I still have also this, the Happy Camper Song shirt, which was the original Sleepaway Camp 2 shirt dropped by Fright Rags. So um, that's so cool on the back. So I, I'm, sure, I'm assuming that you get enough of these, you can make the, the pretty picture on the back, which would be really cool. But very cool to see the Happy Camper Song. Let's see. Look who's on TV. Absolutely love it. There's Sean, of course, one of our favorite campers. This is card number 36. Look who's on TV. Angela exactly directs Molly's attention to the broken TV set where she has placed Sean's decapitated head. Absolutely love it. And that is also when Pamela Springsteen goes on the great rants where I'm just enough for French fries. I wish they could find a way to make them nutritious. And you got to eat. I, I, and, and Sean was no good for you. He's always back talking. Like I, oh, my God. One of my favorite finales of all time in film history is that scene in the cabin with Angela Baker, you know, coming up. I'm completely cured. Every drug you ever heard of, plus an operation. I, I mean, she, Pamela Springsteen's the greatest of all time, but here's the here's the card right here. I guess this is this is a blue card, which is interesting. I don't know. It said a sticker was inside. I don't know. Is the happy camper, is this a sticker? This might be a sticker. I think this might be the sticker, actually, which would be cool. I'd put it up in the office and everybody would be like, what the fuck? But there's a little bit of Sean. So now back to red cards here, more Camp Rolling Hills. Howdy, partner! That's the very finale, Renee Estevez and, and Pamela Springsteen. Howdy, partner! Angela kills off the eccentric foul mouth smoker. She hitches a ride with and is surprised to find a disoriented Molly seeking help. That lady at the end is hysterical. I, the way I see it, I'm just too dumb to think, and I'm too fat to fuck. I mean, that lady is hysterical, dude. And Pamela Springsteen's like, am I cracking a window, you fucking hillbilly? Absolutely love it. This is Here's more of the... Captive in the cabin with Sean and Molly. Of course, Renee Estevez. Got to love Renee Estevez. Of course, a couple of years later, or maybe one year later, she did Intruder, which is an all-time slasher classic in my top 10 slasher movies. Upon opening the door to the abandoned cabin and discovering the dead campers, Sean is clubbed by Angela, who then ties up both he and Molly. Yeah, got to love that. Very cool. Uh-oh, here's the, here's the tattletale. I believe this woman is one of the autographs. So I don't know. It's not on here. It's definitely she's not. She didn't sign this at all. So uh, no autograph in here, but uh, silencing Demi, of course, we have um, as Demi becomes more aware that her friends haven't really been returning home from camp. Angela tries to find something to keep her quiet and decides a guitar string should do the trick. Absolutely. Oh, my, well, you know, this is such a classic scene. She's trying out the pencils and all this stuff. Like, how can I kill this bitch? And then, of course, she finally decides on uh, the guitar string that she was rocking out with in this very scene here. So this is pretty cool. The Happy Camper Song card, which I'm assuming is going to be. This is card number five with the exact lyrics of the song. To me, what makes this movie great is this song. Like, I, I always always wanted to, you know, give that song its credit because it, it completely changes the vibe from the early 80s slashers that the original Sleepaway Camp was to the late 1980s where things were getting more goofy and more self-aware. And I think this song almost makes the movie. Like, it, it's the thing that everyone remembers is Pamela Springsteen and the song and the don't forget the hand movements and all the kids singing and, you know, her pinnacle. It's her pinnacle right here is being named the counselor of the week. And, you know, it's out with the bad and, and in with the good. And unfortunately, when you're taking care of all these teenage girls, not a whole hell of a lot of them are going to be doing anything moral. So um, Pamela Springsteen, much pick them off one by one. Very cool. Absolutely. So far, my favorite card. That's so cool. You got Val Hartman. You got, you know, uh, Renee Estevez and Pamela Springsteen in the song, all one card. This is my favorite card so far. So I'm going to put this over here to the side because that's that's my favorite card so far. And here we got we got Phoebe. We got Phoebes. Um, I think Phoebe might have been one of the autographs, too. I, I know there's only one guaranteed autograph in this whole thing. So um, we'll try to get through these a little quicker. I'm sorry. I'm just such a mark for these things, if you can't fucking tell. This is card number two. Caught with the boys. Angela catches Phoebe sharing stories about murders at a local camp for the transgression. Angela removes Phoebe's tongue. Speak no evil, I guess. Very cool. Okay, and now we're getting into this is Sleepaway Camp 3 cards. I think we only have two in this particular pack. Uh, I've chopped other things. My One of my favorite lines in the sequel, which I actually, I think I do like Sleepaway Camp 3 more. I think it's funnier. I think it's just better written. And um, I love the fucking uh, dialogue in this. I'm sorry, I'll move this fucking wire to the side. It, it looks a little messy. I just looked up at the camera, so I apologize about that. Um, of course, 
uh, Michael J. Pollard, he's sitting there watching her chop wood. He goes, hey, where'd you learn to chop wood like that before? She goes, I've never chopped wood before, but I've chopped other things. I love that fucking line. It's just hysterical, and he thinks nothing of it. Um, and, of course, this is this is her, you know, explaining. This is the whole line explained. Very, very cool card. Absolutely love Michael J. Pollard. An Academy Award-dominated person is on a sleepaway camp trading fact card. Very cool shit. Um, joining Team Lily, this is, of course, also from Sleepaway Camp 3. Uh, card number 58, Angela tries her luck by surrounding herself with a fresh team, hoping these campers are a better match or else. Well, no, definitely not going to be a better match. The inner city squad, definitely not a better match. And then, of course, here we have uh, one of the campers that decides to dress up as Freddy Krueger. We're going to give Angela one hell of a nightmare. Very cool as we go back to Sleepaway Camp 2 here. So um, where does Angela hide all her victims? This one actually has a, tr a multiple choice question. A, ditches the bodies in the local lake. Wrong. B, in an abandoned cabin. Yes. C, serves the bodies in the cafeteria. This is not fucking Blood Diner or Motel Hell. This is Sleepaway Camp 2, baby. And the answer is B. So this is very cool as we round out our first opened pack here of the Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 trading cards. Um, I don't know if I'll go through all these. This is It seems like a lot, and I'm already 11 minutes in. I mean, I'll go through another two packs maybe, and then we'll call it because I don't want to fucking waste everyone's day. I, there actually is some wax in here, so I'll get, I'll get that off this table right now. But um, I am curious to see where the, the autograph card is. I definitely want to show that off for the camera. So um, the only thing is I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's going to be in this pack. It's going to be a completely at random. Um, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping I get lucky and maybe just luck out, get more than one. But I know they guarantee you get at least one autograph. So that's really cool. So let's, let's open this pack as well. Um, okay, check this out. So it's an Angela's Happy Camper Badge. Of course, Outhouse and Leeches. This is so cool. Holy shit. And then, of course, yeah, so you get more of the design for that Sleepaway Camp 2 shirt. So let me see here. And then, yeah, so this is, I think this is going to connect here. So this, I can show you guys that. That shows together. And then, of course, the, the when the rest of it fills out, this arm right here is, is Pamela Springsteen. And then it's a bunch of dead kids around the campfire. Very cool stuff. I'm very happy to have Angela's Happy Camper badge. That is a really cool sticker. Peel me here. You can peel it off. Angela's weapons. Very, very cool stuff right there. That is awesome. Um, but let's go back into the cards here. And now, of course, you got another Sleepaway Camp 3 card here, taking out the trash. Very cool. This is card number 66. Angela takes care of Lily by pushing her into a trash pile and running over her head with a lawnmower. Gotta love it. They unfortunately, MPAA just decided to cut the balls off of Sleepaway Camp 3. You can watch the uncut version on the Shout Factory Blu-ray as a special feature. It's like a very rough work print cut with no uh, music, but it's the whole movie uncut and there's a lot more gore in there. So I highly recommend you watch that as opposed to the, of course, Blu-ray cut or the or the theatrical cut. I know it only played in a couple of theaters, but, um, you know, it, it, it was in the theaters in my heart. In the heart, it was in the theaters. I actually did get the chance to see these two movies on a triple feature with the original Sleepaway Camp uh, back to back to back in the Cinema Arts Center. They showed one, two and three on 35 millimeter right in a row. So it definitely did play because if they had a 35 millimeter print of it. Um, here's the ending of Sleepaway Camp 3, the last we will ever see of Pamela Springsteen as the character. And to me, what a way to go out. She just cleans house in the ambulance and, hey, what's going on back there? Just taking care of business. And then we get the wonderful Sleepaway Camp song by John Atlin. This is card number 80 of 81. I believe there's 81 cards in here. Having received serious injuries from uh, Marcia, the cop and the paramedic plot to kill her in the ambulance. However, Angela takes care of them before that could ever happen. Gotta love the, the greatest killer of all time, the angel of death, one Pamela Springsteen. I'm really hoping they have the card where she goes back to revisit the glory because that's my favorite shot in either of these movies. Like, I think that's the biggest reason I love her character is because of the, that scene. Like, I love when she goes back into the cabin and she's disposing of a body in part three and she just looks at the stage and just like, she looks like she wants to cry. She looks like she's going to break down and you see that how much she misses the glory. And the glory days are over and, and how sad she becomes as she sees that and how much that was the pinnacle of her life, being named the counselor of the week in front of just a few, you know, young kids. And I don't know, to me, that 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 character is so well written. You, you can't even top that if you even tried. So this is one of my other favorite cards. I'll put that over here. Um, 
Barney who? Barney Rubble? Barney Bites It. Yes, this is Barney, of course, who's Sean's father from the previous film. Barney Bites It. Angela was prepared for Barney's reaction and shoots him point blank with a gun she took from Riff. Of course, the what's it going to be, huh? What's it going to be? Uh, a machete? A drill? Nope, a gun. Boom, shoots that guy dead. Really, really cool stuff. Of course, here's spiking Riff, which is, of course, when Riff gets, of course, his hands, um, you know, spiked into the ground. Really crazy stuff there. I mean, that's one of the craziest scenes in the movie. I'm going to switch hands that I'm, that I'm doing this with because I don't want to hold up. My, my left arm is like, what the hell are you doing? Um, of course, spiking Riff, which is one of the dirtiest, fucking meanest, spirited death scenes in this whole movie where Angela Spring, uh, Pamela Springsteen, she sings the rap, he plays the tape, and then, of course, she just fucking massacres this guy. After being treated to Angela's clever, clever rap, Riff's tent is, turn, is torn down before Angela nails a spike into his hand and another deep into his... Gotta absolutely love it. Great, great scene. Great death scene. A great death scene that doesn't show too much. And here's, of course... Pamela Springsteen and Scam Secrets and come on, come on, take a walk with me. I love this, of course. Uh, the, the, the glasses is so great. The trust game. Nobody, tell nobody about the murders. Just absolutely so cool, man. Of course, the, the Scam Secrets, really cool stuff. And experiment in sharing. It's all a bunch of bullshit from Lillian Herman. Not the Munsters, but Lillian Herman in this movie, named after the Munsters. Um, here we have... TC with that wonderful 80s mullet. And she was drenched in blood. <laughs> Love this. Absolutely really, really cool stuff here. This is card number one. Wow. Okay. Card number one. TC tells a scary story while the campers all listen and crack jokes around the campfire. That is very cool. Um, very, very cool stuff. And that's card number one. In the end, I'll try to put them all together. Um, you can break the rules. Of course, this is Barney telling him you can break the rules a little bit. We can have, you know, our, uh, you know, hot dogs and what have you, all that bullshit. Um, Angela's secret spot. Love this scene as well, where she kind of gives a little bit of her backstory to Molly's character and, and, and Renee Estevez is kind of conflicted. Like she likes her personally, but everyone else hates her. And she asks her for relationship advice. Hey, I really like Sean. And that's a really nice, I actually really like this scene. It's, I think another thing too, why I love these movies is how many slasher movies is the slasher, the main character? Like, we never get dialogue like this from Jason or a heart-to-heart -heart with Freddy or anything like this. She's the whole fucking show. I, I just love how the, the movies are really a one-woman show. Like, everyone else does their part and, and, and are vital, but there's nobody more important to these movies than Pamela Springsteen was. And she carried two movies back-to-back, -back, shot over six weeks, and just brought so much life and energy to this character and, and I think was just such a... Uh, you know, vibrant piece in this big, big puzzle known as Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. Um, very cool stuff here. I really, this is one of my favorite cards so far as well. I'm going to put that one aside. So this, I got my, my top three cards over there. And then, of course, oh, I thought you wanted it. I liked being tied up to you. My name's Bobby Stark, and I'm going to be the next president of the United States. Love Bobby Stark. He's the big piece of shit guy. Um, just like everyone in Sleepaway Camp 3, really, everyone's a piece of shit. Angela tied to Bobby for another learning experience. Learn he's a big pig and, desert, and desires she'd rather not hear about, of course. And then, of course, she ties his arms up and uh, ties the fucking rope to the tree and his arms get ripped out. If you watch the uncut version, there's way more gore there. That's like the scene that has way more gore to it. They just completely cut this thing's balls off, unfortunately, on the cutting room floor with the MPAA. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll do one more pack. We'll be about 20 minutes in. I, I really want to know where, what autograph I got. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be at the bottom or if this is also in the – I want to just look at the printing press one more time because this is really cool. This is like – I thought the autograph would be in something like this where I can't fucking get under it right now. Um, I thought the autograph would be in here like with this. So that's very interesting. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we'll do one more pack because I don't want to keep you guys all day. And then I'll, I'll find the autograph card. Maybe I'll share it on uh, – on the community tab to see who we got because that would be really, really something I, I'm, I'm curious to see. But unless we get lucky here, unless this is the card here, um, I, we will see though. Let's see. So let's open this sucker up. And we'll also, um, you know, when I actually do open all the packs and have everything, I'll definitely like order them together and then I'll have them all in order, which would be really, really cool stuff. Uh, but first and foremost, Angela's happy camper badges, Sleepaway Camp 3, Angela's weapons, the garbage truck. And you can peel right here to take this off. And then, of course, here you have a little bit more of the picture here for the, uh, the thing at the end. So that's really cool. want to separate my stickers and everything um, all into one neat little pile. So I'll do that right here. 
got all these stickers over here. That's pretty cool. And then all the cards. And then let's go through this pack and then we'll probably call it because I don't want to keep you guys all day. If I don't, if I do every fucking pack, people are going to be like, dude, what the fuck? Um, look who's on TV. We actually already got this one. This was the first card we opened. So that's a double. That's okay. Let's see. Um, the rules are simple. This is, this is our jigsaw moment. The rules of the game are simple. Three of you have to go into the cabins. Uh, let's see. This is card number 77. The rules are simple. Once Angela has tied the campers and revealed... Oh, it's a little bit blurry. Sorry about that. I'll read it, though. Barney is dead. She demands the remaining campers play a game to find Marcia or she will kill them. Absolutely great stuff. Love the finale there. Just a lot of fun. Here's some first aid, of course, where Pamela Springsteen's getting bandaged up by Barney. And, of course... Um, I believe, is this the first card we had Marcia on? This is the first card, I believe, with, um, not fucking Kathy Griffin. What's her damn name? Tracy Griffith. Uh, she, she has the Kathy Griffith hair. That's why I always think of that. Um, but Tracy Griffith here, who is also in Fast Food, which was another Michael J. Simpson movie, or Michael A. Simpson movie, I should say. Not Michael J. Simpson. She's Michael J. Pollard, Michael J. Fox. Too many Michael J.'s out there. While heading to Lily's campsite with Barney and Marcia, Angela stumbles and sprains her ankle. That's, that's a cool card. Very cool. Fantasies fulfilled. Here we go. Here's the scene I was just talking about. The the classic scene where, oh, Bobby Stork, he gets his hands tied up to this fucking thing and gets fucking run away with by Pamela Springsteen. A great, great scene. Absolutely love that. Let me switch hands here. Sorry about that. I feel like I'm too shaky with my left. I should have probably did this the other way, but it's too late to turn back now. Um, dangers of being a drug addict. Hey, Angela, do you have any Coke? Do you know where I could score some Coke? Oh, yeah, there's a there's a machine in the dining hall. No, I mean some hard coke. Oh, okay, I'll get something for you. And, of course, she poisons her with a little bit of SOS, which I thought was always fucking... I was like, that's a sick thing to do to somebody, man. Dangers of being a drug addict. Yet, yeah, cannot do drugs in the in the Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3 world. Angela puts together a little something for Tawny. Richard's her favorite newscaster who's seeking a gram of coke. Well, she gets a gram of SOS and dies promptly after. So, very classic scene there. Absolutely love it. Um, let's see. The end of Herman, which is the end of Team Herman. Sorry, the end of Team Herman. I was going to say, I was like, the end of Herman? That's not Herman. Um, annoyed that nothing has really changed with the camping experience, Angela puts an end to Peter and Snowboy, which is great stuff. Party all night, teenage wasteland. Lo just a great scene. Love Snowboy. He actually dated Valerie Hartman, who was, of course, Allie in the first movie, which is, she is one of the most amazing fucking set of yets I've ever seen in my life. Um, is Val Hartman, which I wish she would have done autographs for this. That would have been the one I wanted. But um, here's the number one card right here so far for me is the Counselor of the Week card, Pamela Springsteen, the greatest of all time, the angel of fucking death. Um, Counselor of the Week, card number four. Angela's named Counselor of the Week and gives the speech ex ex uh, extolling? extolling her love for Camp Rolling Hills. I'm an English major and I've never heard that word before. So I'm going to have, I guess that means expressing, but uh, I'll have to look that up afterwards. So counselor of the week, the legendary Pamela Springsteen time for a song. I love that the blue ribbon too. Oh my God. I just, they don't make movies like this anymore. They really don't. They don't make movies like this anymore. That's why I love Super Game 2 and 3. Um, let's see. Adios, Arab. This is of course, uh, Arab, the, the cool character in, in Sleepaway Camp 3, she gets decapitated. Again, it's way more explicit in the, um, you know, uncut version. I, it looks like this is a shot from the uncut version. Maybe they briefly show it in, in the theatrical. Adios, Arab, of course, is explaining how she gets killed. And then, of course, the last card in this pack, uh, Photograph Polaroids, which is uh, Judd and Emilio, who are named after, of course, the, the, the Breakfast Club members. Um, Charlie and Emilio, oh, Charlie and Emilio, sorry, they're named after the Estevez clan, are found going through several pictures featuring nearly naked campers, including one of Angela. Yep. Okay. Definitely somebody you're not trying to see naked. Um, I guess we could do one more. Fuck, we'll do one more. We'll do four packs and then, and then we'll call it. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to lie to you there, but let's do one more pack and then I'm going to go through the rest of them on my own. I'm hoping we get the autograph in this car, in this pack, because this would be really cool to get it live on the camera and on the graveyard. But if not, it's, it is what it is. So it, no big deal. Cause I know we'll get it eventually. Um, let's take a coolie gander of Angela's happy camper badge. From Sleepaway Camp 2, Angela's Weapons, Gasoline, and Matches. Say no to drugs. Absolutely love it. And here she is. There she is. Look at that. Very cool design there. I like that. They make her look like almost like a fucking dead eye there. I, thought, I really like this. This is really cool. Very cool stuff. I'm going to add it to the sticker pile right there. Um, I believe we got this shirt 
um, the, the shirt, taking out the trash. We got this one already. This is from Sleepaway Camp 3. I think we got this already. Yeah, it runs overhead with the lawnmower. We got that one. So that's a double. I haven't had too many doubles so far. That's good. You all, If it's any consolation, you almost made it. Absolutely love it if Molly falls. And then she does survive until the ending where they insinuate she's going to die. Um, you're fired. I want you out of here before lunch. This is where she gets fired. Very cool scene where she's, what if I never did it again? What if I promised to never do it again? It's great stuff. Cool stuff. Um, this is the, the best death scene in part two. The gullible trap. You're stupid, more stupid than I thought. And she drowns her in the outhouse of piss and leeches and all that. And we can read the back of this card. Allie ventures out of an abandoned cabin where she thought she'd find Sean. But it turns out she fell for a trap set up by Angela. Gotta love it. You're more stupid than I thought. Great stuff. Great scene. Brutal death scene. To me, the best death scene in part two. In part two, it's this scene. And then in part three, it's the flagpole scene. Especially uncut. I think that, that flagpole scene is incredible. Um, Camp New Horizons. This is where... They're introducing them themselves, and it's it's just such a funny scene as all of them introduce themselves to the to the news crew. Just a riot, really well written by Fritz Gordon. Um, just he, that guy was so underrated, in my opinion. Say no to drugs. So this can go right with the with the uh, the sticker here. This these two kind of go together. Is when she burns the Shote sisters alive. And and fun fact about this, I don't know if people know this or not, but the reason that she burns only one alive on camera is because the other one wasn't old enough. The other girl was too young at the time. I believe she was 16. You had to be 17. And unfortunately, that's why they don't burn them alive together. She burns one. And then the other one wakes up to see her sister already charcoal and dead. And I always thought that was such an interesting thing because, okay, it's annoying as a filmmaker where, okay, I wanted to film this. I had the vision to film this together and we burned them both alive together. But I think the idea it works better when one's already dead because you wake up to literally smelling your sister cooking like a barbecue and you see that, and you know, your fate's next. It actually makes the other show sister's death better in my opinion, because it's just like, you're like, Oh my God, that's a very, very rare example of a good off screen kill. And because they couldn't burn that girl alive on camera, I thought that was a really good example of a good off screen kill there. So, and a classic one liner say no to drugs from Pamela Springsteen. Great stuff. We're going to put that card in there. That's one of my faves so far too. Uh, behave yourself. This is, I don't know. This is a nothing card. I, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, this is of course, before let's get the boys back in the penny rack. Absolutely classic stuff. We have Mayor, we got um, Demi, we have Molly, we have Val Hartman, and then I forget the other character. I forget this girl's name on the end, but um, we have most of the, the girl cabin people goers. Let's get the boys back. The girls go revenge and go on panty raid in their cabin. And last card of the video. Wow, it's my favorite death scene of the whole franchise. No better way to uh, end this off is dropping the princess. Yes, of course, the Kim Wall character who's this uber racist horrible bitch. And are you a cheerleader? Yes. Are you a fornicator? Yes. Have you done drugs? Yes. Strike three. Uh, as Pamela Springsteen starts to pull her up like Superman, pulls her up the flagpole and drops her to her deadly death where her brains scatter all over the mat. Again, you, ha you haven't seen this death scene until you watch it uncut. It is one of the best death scenes I've ever seen in a horror movie. It looks fucking real. If you see that uncut footage, you'll know what I'm talking about. It is the only way to watch this movie, in my opinion. It just makes it 10 times better. Dropping the princess after uh, harassing Cindy, uh, I'm sorry, hoisting Cindy up the flagpole, Angela yells out reasons why she's a bad person before dropping her to her death. Amazing card. My favorite my favorite death scene in all three movies. So, yeah, we got a bunch more packs here. I'm, I'm definitely excited to, uh, you know, open all of them, but I'm, I'm going to probably end it there because it's about almost a half hour in. Um, I will post whatever autograph I get because I'm going to keep going right now. I'm just going to post this and while it's processing and uploading and all that, I'll open the rest of the packs. I'll put them all together. Um, this is a super, super cool you know, box from, from Screen Factory. And for someone like me, who's a fan of these movies, um, you know, I know I'm few and far between. I know there's a lot of people for every reason don't like these movies. Um, you know, it is what it is. Everyone has their own tastes and opinions. That's fine. But today I'm a happy camper and I love the summer sun and I love the trees and forests and I'm always having fun. And I'm a happy camper. I love the clear blue sky and with the grace of God, I'll camp until I die. Good night, campers.